Hello, Fred Gar here. I'm just making another video for you guys. This one's going to be a long one. Uh, I hope not too long. And it's basically asking, does spot price matter? Does spot price matter to you? The spot price is silver. Does it matter? Well, I came up with, for those uh, whose spot price doesn't matter to, and then I came up with those who spot price silver spot price does matter to um also i had a special message i wanted to read off for dealers so um please bear with me i'm just reading from notes i hope it all makes sense this is a big experiment for me so the people who i believe it doesn't matter to spot price does not matter to some collectors some flippers and to some of those people passing on their wealth to their children or other family members a collector may buy a coin based on what he or she likes a series they want to start or finish and because of these reasons a collector may not care about spot price flippers are more concerned about things like low mintage numbers uh, appeal of the coin the how it looks factor and what they feel will be a short term demand for the coin once it has been out there on the market for like a year or less. Uh, and that's all because they want to make a quick buck on flipping the coin. People that are passing on their coins to their children or other family members don't care about spot price as much because their stack isn't really for them but for their family once they pass away some of this is going to sound very simplistic but there's reasons behind my madness or a method to the madness so those are the people whose spot price doesn't matter to now the people that do uh that spot price does matter to uh we're going to go over real quickly. Yes, yeah, spot price matters to some of those stackers that want to buy as much silver as they can for as cheaply as they can. For many stackers, their goal is to buy as much silver as they can afford to buy on a regular basis. Spot price for them affects how much silver they will get for their dollars. Spot price in this context can affect their silver buying budget. The ups and downs of spot price can, and these stackers' mind, affect how much silver they will be able to purchase. In some cases, if spot gets above a certain level, then some of these stackers will stop buying silver altogether. Another factor uh, that comes into play with, with these stackers is the, uh, the premiums for certain coins or rounds or silver in general many of these stackers look for low premiums based on the same thinking they have for low spot prices but this idea of never paying a high premium can leave a lot of stackers out of the market we are now seeing a divergence between spot price and higher premiums across the entire silver market when silver was around $12 an ounce, you would see some dealers selling ASEs for $24 an ounce. Many stackers made videos about how they were not buying silver because of the spread between the spot price and the premiums. I did some research at the height of when this was going on that my LCS was selling generic silver rounds for $17.77. Then I called other dealers in my area and they were selling generic silver rounds for $20. One of the dealers I had talked to, I knew, or at least I had a good idea that his inventory had not changed much. So I asked myself, was he profiting on what was happening in the local market? I will leave that up to you to decide. Okay, and then this is my message to uh, some of the local LCSs and dealers, especially the ones that don't understand uh, the mind of stackers. 
Some dealers tend to view their customers as collectors that spot price doesn't or shouldn't matter to. I feel that dealers need to understand that not all of their potential customers fall into that group. I am aware of the numismatic value of certain coins because I was a collector in the past. But people just getting started may start out as a stacker with a different mindset. I think dealers need to be aware of the mindset that their potential customers have. Knowing this better helps you to interpret, you meaning the dealers, helps you to interpret where they are coming from, your customers, potential customers. At this point, it is important to educate your potential customers and help them to understand numismatic value and how that plays into the price of the coin. Another factor is the current price of your store's inventory. I understand if you raise your prices due to the fact that you just recently purchased new inventory from a wholesaler and it's not possible for you to get your silver for, uh, for lower prices. But if you are sitting on old inventory and you decide to raise your prices because everybody else is, meaning everybody else, meaning other dealers are, then I feel that makes you look greedy. Stackers are willing to learn if you are willing to teach, but we are not stupid. So what inspired these three little things that I wrote that I just read off to you was a video from a YouTuber that's also a coin dealer. And his uh, Facebook, uh, or not Facebook, sorry, his YouTube uh, channel is called Coin help you so it's coin then help then the letter U, and he has a really good channel and he made um, a video about uh does spot price does spot price matter and in that video he explained some of the stuff that i just went over now there's different nuances and different subcategories like stackers who are preppers or stackers who are, uh, you know, for different things, uh, you know, different subcategories are hybrids, collector slash stacker. I consider myself a little bit of a hybrid of a collector in some regard, but more of a stacker. Most of my collection is based on generic rounds. Well, I actually have a coin too that it's based on, but I'm trying to base more of it on generic rounds. Um... And, and a certain coin, but it's, it's, uh, the stacker I am is H H S H T F. Uh, I'm more of a S H T S S is it S H T F. I think so. S T. Oh, S H T F. Yeah. Sorry guys. My mind, but I have a lot going on in there <laughs> in the brain, but my point of this is watch his his video where he's talking about spot price and see if you understand it i think it's a good video coming from a dealer's perspective um i think it's good to have the dealer side of things i think as stackers we follow a lot of uh channels that are um predominantly just stackers and not giving you the dealer's perspective Sometimes you'll see stackers interviewing other dealers, and that's okay. You know, I think that's great that they're getting dealer perspectives, but I think a lot of dealers uh, are old school, and the problem with being old school is you look at it solely as um, where, where uh, your customers are just collectors, and they're not just collectors, you know? A lot of them are stackers. A lot of people getting into silver are stackers. Here locally, I think a lot of people that were stackers uh, jumped into these coin shops. And like I said, with my LCS, he is uh, rationing out how much silver you can buy. You can only buy so much silver from them at my LCS. So uh, that's one deal. Uh, and also, you know, um, you know, these times people are just trying to hoard up stuff in my area, in the Tucson area. Um, 
baby recently baby um diapers are people are having problems finding diapers now they're hoarding up diapers and i knew that was gonna come i knew i had a feeling why aren't diapers being hoarded up now that schools have been um temporarily uh closed or you know because of the social distancing deal here in uh tucson and then daycares they may be closed because of social distancing so your child's at home home more and you're gonna need more diapers you're at home because your job you're gonna need more diapers so it makes sense that people would hoard diapers it sounds crazy but we have a lot of hoarders in this area uh I, I hear stories about the National Guard coming out to make sure people don't hoard items. But uh, a lot of people are telling me they don't see the National Guard where they're shopping or where they're going to. Uh, so just a lot of different information. This was a kind of choppy video. I apologize. I was trying to hold the camera and read from my notes. So I do apologize. But I, I want everybody who watches this video to see the other side of the coin. Uh, in terms of uh, understanding collectors, understanding stackers. And I think there's some frustration on some dealers' minds because they're like, well, if they're, uh, if they're, if my customers are collectors, they should understand my prices are fair and competitive. But they're not just all, your customers are not just um, coming to you from a uh, soul collector mindset, you know, buying certain coins based on numismatic value, you know. So it was just something interesting. I'm sorry I was wonky earlier about the SHTF deal. Uh, you know, uh, that's all. I <laughs> sorry, guys. But yeah, so I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I was trying to jump a lot of stuff together. I noticed oil went down a dollar something today. Silver was down. Gold was down. Um, we'll see if they bounce back. They might. Uh, but like I said, there's a divergence right now between, or there's a div there's like a uh, a wide gap between the premium on silver and the spot price of silver, and that gap could grow. You know, uh, online dealers are having issues from what they're saying sourcing uh silver at spot price and i know wholesalers are uh not giving the best deals right now in some cases so um be kind look for deals don't be too negative i think there's frustration on some stackers part parts as well as some dealers part so don't be frustrated. Let's just learn from each other. Uh, let's try to grow as people and make sure our needs are met in a positive way instead of a negative way. Not bashing somebody who's just trying to help and give you their perspective. Okay, everybody. It's Fred Gar here just with another video. Sorry if I was a little uh, out of it, but I hope you guys have a great week. Take care and be safe out there. Bye-bye.